Mycobacterium tuberculosis is the bacterium that causes tuberculosis, or TB. It is spread through the air and mainly infects the lungs but can also infect other organs of the body. This character represents active TB bacteria. TB bacteria are very small and can only be seen with a microscope. In this animation, we show them much larger than they really are so you can easily see them. Symptoms of active TB disease include a chronic bad cough, pain in the chest, or coughing up blood. However, some people who are infected with TB carry the bacteria but do not show these symptoms. They will appear perfectly healthy. This is called latent TB infection. This character represents latent TB bacteria. Unlike active TB disease, latent TB infection is not infectious to others. The immune system successfully fights the bacterium and holds them in check, preventing the spread of the bacterium. This character represents your immune system. Your immune system defends you from diseases. However, latent TB infection still poses a risk to your health. Without treatment, approximately 1 out of 20 to 1 out of 10 people with latent TB infection will develop active TB disease at some time in their lives. This is 5 to 10 percent. The TB skin vaccine can protect children from getting severe forms of TB but is not sufficient to protect anyone from getting latent TB or progressing from latent to active TB. Children under 5 years of age are at increased risk for developing active TB disease after TB infection due to an immature immune system. Here we see that the immune system cannot defeat TB. This can also happen when an immune system is weakened due to health changes from diabetes, drug use, and other conditions. For people living with HIV, especially those not taking HIV medications, the risk for developing active TB disease is considerably higher than for persons with other conditions. This character represents HIV. HIV is very small. It can only be seen with a special type of microscope. In this animation, we show it much larger than it actually is, only so you can easily see the virus. Latent TB infection can only be detected by your doctor or healthcare provider using a tuberculin skin test or TB blood test. You should get tested for latent TB infection if you are living with HIV or you have had contact with other people with TB. You should also be tested if you are receiving dialysis, receiving anti-tumor necrosis factor treatment, getting ready for any kind of transplantation, or are affected by silicosis. If the test is not available, household exposure to TB disease or HIV infection alone may qualify you for treatment of TB infection. Check with your provider to see if tests for latent TB are locally available and whether getting tested for latent TB is right for you. If indicated, they also will be able to tell you the best way to treat and manage the condition. Together, you and your healthcare provider can beat latent TB infection and prevent active TB disease.